Broke is a joke? Tired of being tired? Come buy freedom with the Urban Money Manager, where debt free is the place to be. I'm your host, the Urban Money Manager, and time is money, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, if you want to get ahead with your money, you have to be good with time. Time is money, and today we're going to talk about effective time management principles to help you build your wealth and get out of student loan debt. So guess what? If there's anything of value in your life, you need to have it written down on a schedule. Because if you don't control your day, your day will control you. And for some of us, our life's greatest accomplishments will pass us by because we're spending too much time gossiping, we're spending too much time on Facebook, we're spending too much time on television, and we're letting all the effective hours of the day go down the drain. A lot of us, we spend so much time watching everybody else's success. We're spending so much time doing everything that everybody else wants us to do, and we're not making any time for ourselves. That's the reason why I encourage you, I challenge you, I charge you to come up with a prioritized to-do list. Not just any to-do list, I want you to come up with a prioritized to-do list. What does that mean? Number one, you're gonna base your day around your priorities. You're not gonna base your day around emotions. You're gonna base your day around priorities. I want you to think right now about five to 10 things each day that you could do to get you to the next level. Five to 10 major things in your life you could do right now to take you to the next level. That's what I want you to focus on. And I want you to base those five to 10 tasks in order of their priorities. So say for example, what a lot of us tend to do as procrastinators is, we start the day off by trying to do the easiest things first, and then the hardest things, we tuck that all the way back to the back burner to the evening time. And you know what happens? We coast through the day, do everything that's so easy. Meanwhile, when it comes down to the evening time and when it gets late in the day, now that it comes time to do the hard things, guess what? Now we're too tired to do them. Oh, I don't wanna go to the gym, I'm too tired. I was working so hard. I don't wanna do this, I, I don't wanna do that. The day has already passed by, I'll do that tomorrow. What you have to do now is change that mindset because if you always do the easiest things first, you will never challenge yourself. You will never step outside of your comfort zone and you will never take things to the next level. I want you to put things in reverse. I want you to shift gears. I want you to start doing the hardest things first. I want you to prioritize your day by taking on some, some of the most challenging activities at the start of your day to really give your day true meaning and purpose. A lot of you right now are going through the motions and you know why that is? It's because when you go to sleep at night, you're really not satisfied with everything you did in a day because you weren't on a prioritized to-do list. And that's the exact reason why I've come up with the Urban Money Time Schedule. That's right, I've come up with the Urban Money Time Budget. So that way, not only can you budget your money, now you can budget your time because your time is more important than your money. I want you to understand that. Money you can get back. You're gonna see $20 again. You're gonna see $100 again, but you will never see this moment again in your life. That's why you have to have a time budget. Here's what I want you to do in your time budget. First off, I want you to think about how scarce time is. Whether you know it or not, time is short. We only have 24 hours in a day. And the time that you're spending right now talking on the phone, texting, on Facebook, sleeping, eating, commuting back and forth to work, watching television, doing this, that, and the third, you have a limited amount of time to actually be successful. Your day is consumed, 24 hours of your day is consumed with everything else but success. Do you know that the, in the amount of time that an average person goes to sleep in their lifetime, they slept for 20 years. 20 years of possible productivity has just been slept away. Now I'm not telling you not to get any sleep, but what I am saying is that life has a way of putting everything else over your priorities. That's why you have to have the urban money time budget. On an urban money time budget, you know what I want you to do? I want you to write down your ideal schedule for a day. Write down how long it's gonna take you to get your tasks done. Write down the meaningful tasks. I want you to write down how long it would take you to commute back and forth from work. 
I want you to write down how long you need in terms of preparation time to get ready for work, school, or what have you. How long does it take you to eat? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna show you on the screen all the categories that I want you to think about. And then we're gonna compare that up against the 24 hours that you have in a day. Now, for some of you, this might be a very sobering experience because it might wake you up to the fact of how much time you're actually wasting in a day. But I promise you, this will be one of the most invaluable tools you will have in your lifetime. Because guess what? When you are not planning your schedule, you're on everybody else's agenda. And that's been a problem with you all these years. You've based your life around following other people's agendas, whether you know it or not. When you go to work, you're responding to people's emails. You, you go to work just to respond to other people's agenda. It's never about you. You're never taking the time to invest in yourself. Whenever you're responding to other people's phone calls, their emails, their text messages, etc., you might not think anything of it, but guess what? If you're not making any time for yourself, if you're not putting anything in your time budget to invest in you, if you're not taking any you time, you're living for everybody else. And you sacrificed yourself, you sacrificed your own dreams, your own goals. And your life's greatest moments are being thrown down the drain. So here's what I want you to do. I want you now to start budgeting your time. I want you to pick five to 10 major things in your life you could get done each single day to help you take things to the next level. I want you to take less priority on watching the next man make it, the next man blow up, and you make yourself blow up because you're given the same 24 hours in one day that everybody else is given. But you have to be willing to apply it. It's not gonna happen by magic. You have to work at this, okay? That's what the people, that's what the greats are doing. They're working at this. They're making the time investment. If I could do it, y'all could do it. I made the time investment to get this done. Life was never a crystal stair for me. This is not no golden opportunity that I just had where everything was so rosy in my life and it was a perfect time to do it. You have to make the time perfect. And how do you do that? By investing in yourself, getting things done. Time is money. If you wanna be good with money, you have to be even greater in managing your time. We'll talk next month. This is the Urban Money Manager. I wish you much success. Thank <laughs> you.